Talk Time with Reed Moriarty. <laughs> you were amazing. You were amazing, sir. It's awesome to meet you. That's amazing. <laughs> you like that artwork? I like that artwork. That artwork is from like 1973. It's a, a guy named Jack Davis. Have you ever heard of Mad Magazine? I've never heard of him before. Mad, Mad Magazine was a, it's still around, but it's a comedy magazine. And I loved it as a kid, and he was a very famous mad artist. And he also did work for Sesame Street, so when I saw those pictures, I was like, I need those pictures. That's amazing, Joey. Thank you. All right, and now our next interview is with Joey Mazzarino. Hello! <laughs> I, like to ans I like to ask him a couple of questions, if I'm you ready, don't mind. I am, I am ready to answer your questions, Reed. What's your favorite letter of the alphabet, Joey? I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go, well, my least favorite is Q. I'm going to say Q is my least favorite because you can't use it without a U most times, and I think it's worthless. We should get rid of the Q. I'm going to uh, go with let's lose the Q, make it a 25-letter alphabet, and K will replace the Q. But my favorite letter of the alphabet, I'm going to go with M. Okay. Because when I see M something delicious. M for, M for Murray, Murray. M for Murray. And when I see something delicious, I go, mm, mm, mm. Okay. Do you and have a favorite letter of the alphabet? I have a favorite letter. What is it? I think it's an R. For Reed. Reed. There you go. That makes total sense. Hey, R and I think Reed. Murray likes M. Murray, you like M? I love M. It's such my name. See, I knew it. He loves you. You did the voice again. That wasn't me. That was Murray. That was Don't Murray. Don't listen to Reed. That was Murray. Okay. And what's your favorite Bible story, Joey? My favorite Bible story. Um, that's a good. The question. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. <laughs> Did you see that online? <laughs> I saw it at school. They just remember? asked me. They just asked me to do that, and that was what they gave me. But I do like Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. I don't know if that's my favorite Bible story, <laughs> but they did ask me to do that. That's so funny you saw that. I was just for my church. I can't believe you found that. I can't believe I found it. Okay, oh, okay shall my we? favorite Bible story. You know, I really like the story of. Um, Joseph and uh, his his coat and his brothers and his whole sort of what happens to Joseph. I think that's a good story. Do you have a favorite Bible story? I do have a favorite Bible story. I think it's Noah. Noah is where a, he obeys story. God. Mm -hmm. And I don't like I don't like Adam and Eve because, or Jonah because they disobey God. Yeah, but Noah listens. So you like that one better. I like Noah better. Yeah, he's a strong guy, Noah. And to think about and all he those builds animals. a big boat called an ark, and he obeys God. He puts animals in it. That's my favorite Bible story. I like that one too. Oh, okay. I think but there's some good New Testament ones too, because I like the way Jesus forgives people all the time. Okay, and what was your first job as a kid? I. My first job as a kid, I was a balloon. I, I worked at a balloon place blowing up balloons. That's my real first job. I was 14 years old. Okay. Who were your heroes? As a kid? As a kid. Okay. I would say um, Mel Blanc. He did Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Tweety Bird, Sylvester, uh, Barney Rubble. He was like a big voice, ca uh, cartoon voices, and I wanted to do cartoon voices. That's amazing. And then also Jim Henson was a big uh, Jim Henson? Hero of mine. Okay. The next question is, can you tell me how you got to Sesame Street? So I started wanting, I wanted to be an actor. And um, I was at school studying to be an actor. And then I met a puppeteer. And I didn't even know it was a job. And I was like, that seems awesome. And I went to visit the set and I met Jim Henson. And then I became obsessed with wanting to do that. And I said to my costume, somebody at the costume shop, can I borrow some fabric and stuff? And I started making very bad puppets that were terrible, but I was proud of them. And I started practicing in front of a camera how to do it. That's amazing. And, and they hired me. And then I started writing for them and directing as well. So it's been fun. And did you know we have the same birthday? Are what? you a June 4th? Yes. June 4th. I don't even know anybody else with a June 4th birthday. June 4th. Yes. June 4th, yeah. too? I got another June 4th. <laughs> June 4th, all around. You're the right. first June 4th I've ever met. Yeah. yeah. What's a favorite birthday you can remember? Oh, a favorite birthday I can remember. You know what? Um, I had My family took me out to dinner, my, my, my kids and my wife, last year, and it was awesome. It was my favorite birthday because I was with the people I love the most. What do you? What's your favorite birthday memory? My favorite birthday memory is getting lots of presents. What's your fa Do you have a favorite birthday present you got? I think new shoes. 
You are you a shoe guy? I love shoes. Yes. The shoes I'm wearing now look like they have band-aids all over them, but they're not real band-aids. Hey! I wanted to ask you, yes. did you write the shoe fairy? I did! I wrote that! You, you know why you know you why did? I wrote that? That's why did you write it? My oldest daughter, who's now nine, she was like two at the time, and the first words kind of the first words she said were shoes. So she would look at you if she just met you and she'd go Shoes! She would like, you're wearing shoes! And, and she'd go, shoes! Sh shoes, shoes! Like, it, it was like a connection thing. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So if Abby, I thought, well, what if Abby um, ha had shoes for the first time and she realizes everybody has shoes and then tries to get Telly to do it and we were lucky to have Neil Patrick Harris. Neil um, Patrick Harris! He became I do the fairy, remember. the fairy shoe person. He was amazing. Yeah, he was amazing. He's a very good performer. Okay. And what was your high point? And low point of being Murray. Okay, my high point of being Murray. Um, we did a video about something called incarceration. Do you know what incarceration is? What's that? It's when a family, somebody, well, well, incarceration means you have to go to jail or prison. And it was to deal with families that were, had, had family members in prison. And uh, Murray had to interview them. And I didn't know how I was going to do it. And then I realized that somebody in my family had been to prison, and I just used that, or my memories of that, and I put it on Murray. So it was a way for I could say, like, oh, I know how you feel. My uncle, would, as Murray, I would say it. So it was I was glad I could connect with kids who were having a tough time um, using Murray. So that was my one of my high points with Murray. And, you know, my low point of Murray is every year when we finish taping and he goes back to the Muppet shop and I don't get to see him for a while because I love him. That's, that's my low point. That's a bummer. It okay. is a bummer. I like of him to stay with me all the time. It's okay, and the next question is what music is on your playlist? Oh, my playlist, I'm a big Bruce Springsteen fan, so I listen to a lot of Bruce Springsteen. Wow. I like uh, I like Stephen Sondheim, so I listen to some Sondheim shows. I enjoy that. Um, and, I, you know, Mumford and Sons, things like that. And Neil Diamond, I'm a, I'm a Neil Diamond. Mumford and Sons and Neil Diamond? Yes. That's what? amazing. How about you? What's your favorite? I like Taylor Swift. I like Taylor Swift, too. I think she's pretty amazing, too. She's the 1999... That's, that's her, her new, new album. album. Yes, yeah, it's a new album. Did you get it? I didn't get it. I didn't get it either. I have the one, the other one. Yeah, but I'll have to get it someday. Maybe Target will have it. I think they will. I'm I think sure they, they will. will. And, and, we already talked about your favorite movie, which was Raiders of the Lost that was Star. Mur that was Murray's favorite movie. And you didn't ask me. All right, what's your favorite movie of all time? My Mer favorite, Joey. My favorite movie. Oh, it's probably The Godfather, which you probably haven't seen yet. You don't. It's the rated Godfather. Yes. Wait till you're old. Well, you're twenty now. You may be able to see it, but it's a, it's a little. It's it's an old. It's an R-rated movie, but it's my favorite. Yeah. What do you do on weekends with your kids, Joey? Oh, I love to play anything with my kids. Uh, different things, because one's nine and one's three. We like to play cards and games with my older one, or video games. And we like to run around like crazy people, uh, me and my three-year-old. We kick balls around and do all kinds of crazy stuff. I just like to be with my kids and play. I can't believe it, Joey. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming out here to, to talk to me today. You're welcome. It was so nice of you. Oh. Can we say this podcast was brought to you by the letter M together? Okay, uh, so uh, as Murray or as me? For Murray. For Murray, here we go. This podcast was brought to you by uh, the letter, what letter? M. M! And that stands for? Murray, Masserino, and Moriarty. Murray, Masserino, and Moriarty! That's awesome! Thank you so much! That's another M word. Okay, cut. Cut! Talk Time with Reed Moriarty.